All right, so you've recorded your video reflection using QuickTime, and now you need to get it into your drive and um, save it or share it with um, whoever you need to, your instructors and um, whoever else. So um, if you have a folder that you're keeping for this, you want to go into that folder first, and then you'll upload. I'm just going to upload it to my drive for now, which you can also do. So you're going to click New and File Upload. And then you're going to find that file using QuickTime. Let me just make sure it's the right one. It doesn't totally matter. So I'm going to use this one. Maybe this one. All right, so it's going to upload. It's going to tell you right here it's uploading. and it takes a few minutes, but you're going to treat this video file just like any other file in Google. So once it gets um, uploaded, you're going to click on it just like you would, let's see if I have another video here. Like here's a video that I have right here. If I click on it once, um, here's my link if I want to give it to somebody to get, get the link, but here's my share settings. So I can type whoever I need to share with it. I probably want to change it to view, can view. Um, and it looks like this one's all ready. So let me, let me find it real quick. And I can search it here if I want to, or I can share right from this box right here. So if I click share, I can go ahead and type who I need to share it with. Um, I would change it to either can comment or can view. Notify them via email. If you want to add a note, you can. The other thing that you can do, and I mentioned this in a previous video, is if you want to use this video reflection as say part of your Danielson report card or something like that, you're going to want to maybe change this, especially if you're if you're developing your portfolio online instead, and you want to put this into um, your portfolio. I would switch to anyone with the link can have access. That um, it doesn't mean that anyone can see it. You would have to either provide them with the link via email. Um, or you would attach the link, you would upload the link into your website. So not everyone has access to it, but that way you can ensure that you don't get a bunch of emails saying, hey, can I have access to this file, that kind of thing, and then making sure that it's can view. So that's how you can um, easily share your QuickTime video. You can upload it to Drive and then go ahead and share it.